In this segment on personal investing, we're going to cover individual retirement accounts, or IRAs. Recall in the last segment, we talked about 401ks. 401k is an account. It's an account that has your name on it. You can open it up at a place like Vanguard, a Fidelity, or a Schwab. It's an account that has your name on it. And in that account, you get to invest it. You can invest that money, your money in mutual funds, and ETFs, many times stocks and bonds individually. That money is yours. You can take it with you. And you can invest it however you choose to invest it. The big advantage of a 401k is that Employers contribute, and many employers will match your contribution up to a certain limit. Well, that's through an employer. Individual retirement accounts, or for IRAs, are things you can do without an employer. You just do that. And if you look at this chart, an IRA works exactly like a 401k. The contributions are tax deductible. Again, if you have income of $50,000 and you contribute $5,000, you are only taxed that year on $45,000. $5,000 is not taxed. The investments grow tax-free or tax-deferred every year. You have to wait until you're 59 and a half to withdraw them. Then they're taxed as income. The big difference is is that there's no employer contribution, right? This is just you doing this individually. But they work just like a 401k. And as I said in the earlier segment, if you leave a business, you can move the 401k money from that company that you were working for and roll it into your personal IRA. And by the way, you can do both. You can set up an IRA and a 401k. More on that later. All right, so an IRA is something you do individually, which is why it's called an individual retirement account. Now, for you, most of you, there's something even better called a Roth IRA. It's called a Roth IRA from the guy who uh, thought it up, Senator, whose idea this was. And it works sort of like an IRA, but there's a couple differences. Notice that the contributions are not tax deductible. So if you put in $5,000 and you made $50,000, you still have to pay tax on the $50,000. You can't deduct it. Some people get confused. This is not additional tax. You wouldn't pay any more, any extra. You just pay it on your total income. Now, for most of you, your incomes are relatively small. So it's not going to be a big deal to pay a little income tax. We'll come down to the advantage in just a second. Like IRAs and 401ks, Roth IRAs grow tax-free or tax-deferred. Withdrawal age is 59 and a half. But the big kicker comes when you take money out. You pay no taxes, not on the money you put in, not on the gains you got. You pay no taxes. This is probably one of the best things going in the area of finance other than the employer match. Right? Think about this for most of you. You probably would pay almost no or very little income tax right now. Do you think you'll pay more in the future? Absolutely. Think about that account that grows to a million dollars so that, that you've saved so you can have financial freedom. You will pay no taxes on that. A Roth IRA is an absolute must for almost everyone. If you think you're going to pay more taxes later, then you should absolutely put it, be putting your long-term investments in a Roth IRA. Now, can you move money from an IRA into a Roth IRA? Yes, that's called a conversion, but you will need to pay the income tax when you take it out of the IRA. So let's kind of summarize. With an employer, 
There are tax advantage accounts called 401ks. You want to put your money in there at least to get an employer contribution. Here's a thing to think about. Let's suppose your employer puts in 5% of your income in the retirement account. Let's suppose also that you put in 5% of your income. Now you're at 10%. If your employer will match that 5%, you now, in a 401k, are saving 15% of your income. That's awesome. That's awesome. You need to start and make sure you get any employer match in a 401k. Then you should look at a Roth IRA. Okay, open up a Roth IRA, put the money in, and you will pay no taxes when that comes out. Now, in all of these accounts, you get to pick your investments. This is not a prescription for how to invest. You would put your asset allocation in and pick your index funds uh, within those accounts. All right, your next homework assignment is going to be on Roth IRAs. So be sure you understand this.